I just finished playing through Pokemon Legends Arceus and managed to find and catch 6 shiny Pokemon along the way. Here's how. The most important rule to catching shinies in this game is to save immediately after you spot a shiny Pokemon. This will allow you to soft reset in cases where you fail to catch the shiny, except for when you are in space-time distortions. And with that important rule covered, we can move on to the ways you can actually find the shiny Pokemon. First off, and this was actually the last shiny I got, but you can get a shiny Ponita by doing the A Peculiar Ponita request, which is request number 19, and becomes available after completing the main missions in Obsidian Fieldlands. You are basically guaranteed to get this shiny Pokemon, so don't pass it up early on like I did. The second way I got shinies was just by keeping an eye and ear out while playing through the game. I actually found and caught both a shiny Gligar and a shiny Dusclops in this manner. It may be low odds, but when you are passing over thousands of Pokemon through the span of a playthrough, you are almost guaranteed to come across one or two by pure chance. The third and most consistent way to find shinies is to take advantage of mass outbreaks. I managed to get a shiny Starly, Machoke, and Wurmple through mass outbreaks. So first, I'll put up the shiny odds chart for you all to see. The gist of it is that by completing or perfecting a Pokemon's entry in the Pokedex, and also by getting the shiny charm, which you need to complete the Pokedex entry for all Pokemon to do, which is a monumental task, you can improve your odds by 7-fold. However, outbreaks increase the odds of finding a shiny by 26-fold all on their own, so it is easily the best and most efficient way to go about getting shinies. In order to refresh the chance of an outbreak occurring, just travel back and forth between Explorable Areas and Jubilee Village. I didn't do this too often, but what I did do was pay attention to what mass outbreaks were occurring and then going to ones with Pokemon that I wanted a shiny version of, such as Starly, Vulpix, and Eevee. Unfortunately, I was not lucky enough to get a shiny Vulpix or Eevee, but I did get the shiny Starly. Another quick tip about going to Outbreaks is to make sure you know what a shiny version of whatever Pokemon it is looks like because some of them can be pretty subtle. Beyond that, I've seen some videos suggesting that you can leave and return to an area with an Outbreak in order to refresh the Pokemon that spawn in the Outbreak and give more chances for shiny Pokemon. However, I've noticed some things during my playthrough. Whenever an Outbreak did have a shiny Pokemon, it was there as soon as I arrived and that could be nothing more than simple chance, but it's how it worked out for me. Second, trying to do any sort of soft reset method to grind out shinies from the outbreak events never seemed to work. It was either get the shiny on the first time going to that particular outbreak, or not at all. That's not to say those soft reset methods don't work, just that I haven't personally had any luck with them. Please let me know if any of you had success with a soft resetting method and how you did it because I would love to know and I'm sure plenty of others would too. In any case, another reason why I didn't like soft resetting was because I felt like it lost me progress. And even if I didn't get a shiny from a mass outbreak, I ended up capturing and then releasing a bunch of non-shiny Pokemon and that's a great way to accrue grit dust, gravel, pebbles, and rocks. So, in summary, keep an eye out for unusual looking Pokemon as you traverse the various regions, and take advantage of any mass outbreaks for Pokemon that you want in shiny form, and immediately save if you see a shiny Pokemon before trying to catch it. If you want to see more great content, you can head over to my channel, and if you're new, consider subscribing. You're helping me feed my cat, her name's Marshmallow. Have a great day, if you're here today, have a great Wednesday, and as always, Thanks for watching.